is determined to take out both legs of Johnny Quinn. Two! Oh! Three! I need you back in the ring. You can't win on the outside. I need you back in the ring. Four! Oh, man. I want to watch it. I need you back in the ring. Just completely snapping that leg back. I'll be surprised if Johnny Quill can stand on two feet after this. Hey, uh, you like to count, right? Count. 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 Six. Count. Don't talk to me. Count. Seven. Uh, uh, you counted like you did earlier. I didn't want to already. Maybe Martinez doing a lot of talking to the ref. Five. Five. One. Two. Three. Oh. Now he's working on the thigh. He's determined to just completely paralyze Johnny Quill. Big shot to the sternum there. Oh, big spinebuster taking out David right in the middle of the ring. Only a two count. Going in for a waistlock and once again taking out the knee. You can leave those nachos there, I'll take them. Over the ankle lock there. Very curt angle esque with that ankle lock. If only he had just a little more weight to really grab him into position. I eat my words, all right, there you go, David.
I too thought that was a good time. Alright, like our commissioner said, or general manager I should say, our next bout is a quarterfinals match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Welcome to wrestling. <laughs> Introducing first. <laughs> From San Diego, California, weighing 175 pounds, the Jackal. Chucking the wrestlers for four objects. Good job. You suck, oh, he's doing a good job. It's his first match. Yeah. Apparently, he sucks though. Daniel Torch, the always consummate lover. Alright, this is the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Nice collar and elbow tie up. Roth going into a waist lock, reversed it by Torch, taking it down in an amateur style slam. Working him up. Looks like he's working on that wrist, maybe that elbow joint. Kind of contortioning it into a hammer. Oh! Coming in! Trying to get his shoulders down and reversed by Torch. Some grade A grappling by Torch and Roth. I don't know, man. I think he kind of did hang with him. Takes him straight down to his back. Went into a wrist lock. Irish Whitman to the floor, drop down. He brought him down and back into another waistline towards the rope. Rolls off. It looks like he's kind of working on the knee there. 
Well, if you can't reach, if you can't get up, you can't fight. So that's a pretty sound strategy. Let's kick to the face and chin. There we go. Roth showing him who's boss, kicking him in the thigh. Whoa. Oh, nice reversal by Daniel Torch. Referee doing a great job keeping the combatants separated. Roth and Torch squared off again. Once again, another. Oh, no. oh. oh. European uppercut right in the middle of the ring. Sends Torch back to the ropes. Shooter, but no! 
with people pretending they like what they don't. Please don't worry about my issues unless you gon' deal with your own. Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real. Yes, yeah, so Please don't worry about my issues unless you gon' deal with your own. Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real. Yes, yeah, so Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.